Yay! It's the Love Line. Drew got himself a nice big uh, sack of chips, so uh, get ready for some good radio. Right? <laughs> Crunch it up. Kara, Jason, and uh, Chris are all here from the uh, Blame Game, Monday through Friday, 5 o'clock on uh, MTV. And uh, 310-752-8142 is the uh, number you could call if you're uh, interested in uh, being a participant on that show. And uh, I'm told that uh, my uh, little brother, Nathan, my uh, Catholic little brother, not biological uh, little brother, is uh, on the phone. I haven't spoke to him, and it must be, uh, oh, I don't know, two years or something. Nathan? Oh, I'm sure it's longer than that. Is it? Oh, yeah. Don't you owe me money? Uh, probably. All right. Now, what? What? What's? <laughs> first off, uh, hi. How are you, Ben? Good. How are you doing? Oh, uh, not too bad. I was talking about uh, Nate last night with uh, his buddy uh, Team, the uh, Russian rapper. What happened to Tim? What happened to Team? Uh, as far as I know, I'm sure he's probably locked up by now. In jail. That's what Adam's prediction was. That's my prediction, but I, I don't know for sure. And, and Nathan, you don't know either, do you? No, I don't know. But the last time I saw him uh, was with a five-foot bong. Oh, really? <laughs> Several <laughs> years ago. Wow. Kind of. A, oh, yeah. Where are you now? Uh, Culver City. Mm. Oh, you're in Culver City? Yeah. Well, why don't you come by here and say hi? We should score some hoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he sounded like, wasn't it? Pretty much. That it, sounded about it, like... It, am I exaggerating when I say uh, he was he was the uh, blackest uh, white Russian you've ever seen in your life? That's no exaggeration. <laughs> we got to get some beaches because they are dope. <laughs> <laughs> So, Nate, what are you doing? Something with computers, I hope? Uh, definitely. What are you doing with them computers? Uh, doing network support. Oh, good. You're making money? Oh, yeah. Yeah, good. I told you that education was for uh, dodos, right? <laughs> you stuck with the computers. You didn't go to junior college, did you? Nope. Yeah, that's right. You <laughs> stuck with the computers, right? That's right. That's right. Just like your big influential brother told you. Remember that time I lent you uh, my phone card and uh, you fell in love with that chick in Kentucky uh, over the internet and you uh, got my phone shut off? <laughs> oh, man. Nate, if I'm lying, I want you to stop me, all right? <laughs> oh, you're not. When I handed you that phone card because your mom told you you couldn't make any more phone calls from the house because he fell in love with this chick over the internet who lived in Kentucky when he was 15 years old. I handed him my phone card and I said, Nate, here's a deal. And I was porn pissed, right, Nate? <laughs> I, I handed Nate, Nate we ate a Taco Bell every time we went out, right? <laughs> Pretty much. I gave him my phone card and I said, listen, brother, I'm giving you this phone card. Now, here's the deal. I get the bill every month for this phone card and I don't have a pot to and as a matter of fact, you are going to pay for any call that's in Kentucky because I don't make calls to Kentucky. You got a little job at the snack shack at your high school. <laughs> Anything on the bill that's in Kentucky, you'll pay for at the end of the month. Now, use the phone card as long as you want. Use it responsibly. Call your girlfriend in Kentucky. It wasn't even his girlfriend. He just met her over the Internet. Call her every day, but talk to her for four, five, six minutes and then hang up. Or don't call her for a couple days and talk to her for 10, 15 minutes and hang up. But the point is, is if you go nuts, I'll know about it and you won't be able to pay the bill and I'll shut this thing off and you'll never be able to call your girlfriend in Kentucky. I understand. <laughs> Two weeks later, my phone gets shut off. <laughs> shut off. I didn't, even get a, I didn't even get a letter. It's just the phone got shut off. I they called. Just I called them up, and I was like, why'd you shut my phone? It's like between billing periods. Like, somebody got hold of your phone card and went nuts. <laughs> we knew you couldn't possibly pay. 235 bucks uh, worth of Kentucky phone calls uh, Nate made in about eight days. Right, buddy? Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> then, did, you, did you ever meet the girl? Did you no, meet the girl? You never met her, did no. you, Nate? Oh, no. I got rid of that. It was funny, oh, though. I got, got, got rid of that. You got her loose. <laughs> well, someone got rid of someone. We'll, we'll figure out who got rid of who later. He couldn't afford a call. Nate was great, too, with the next pitch was uh, road trip to Kentucky was uh, his next idea. Yeah. Nate's like, we are going to drive your car that barely makes it to my house to uh, Kentucky <laughs> over the summer. And uh, don't worry, I'll drive half the time, even though uh, I don't even have a lear learner's permit at this point. <laughs> All right. Those were the good days, though, weren't they, Nate? Yeah. Now I'm a big star, right? Yep. That's right. <laughs> That's what families are. Right. No, That's no, right. thanks to you. The ego. But Nate, seriously, here's your chance to tell everyone how great I am. Go right ahead. Adam's the best. 
He always has been. Whatever. <laughs> there you go. And, and and this wasn't this wasn't some celebrity BS I got mm-hmm. roped into. I was a Catholic big brother. Uh, They're calling from the other room. I see the guy. It's long, your, uh, it's your long, director. B- long before any of this TV or radio nonsense. Of course, I would never do it again. All right. <laughs> hey, uh, Nathan. So you got? Uh, you, are you on your own? You living living alone? Uh, not alone, but definitely out of the house. <laughs> what do you have? A roommate? Uh, girlfriend. Oh, All right. oh nice. nice. Nathan. You from Kentucky? Yeah. No, not from Kentucky. Further. <laughs> yeah. Really? I have his uh, first pubic hair in my wallet. I don't know if you know. <laughs> that. Sure, you do. Uh, Girlfriend's right. from Sri Lanka. Where is your girlfriend from? <laughs> New Hampshire. Very All right. good. All right. Stay nice in one of the East Kennedys. Coast Great. Girl. Yeah, exactly. Someplace there is no in- inbreeding. <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, Nate. I'm gonna I'm gonna put you on hold so I can uh, get your home phone number from you. All right. All righty. All right. You uh, come to come. Why don't you come down to the Man Show? We're uh, taping on Saturday. All righty. Pay a little visit to uh, your old uh, big brother. All right. Hold on a second, Nate. All right. All right. Oh, there you go. You see what a positive influence I was on the child? Yes. Now, you know what I told him, and I, I want to tell everyone this. I, I, I don't know why everyone goes nuts with the schooling. Stay in school. Stay in school. It's like, okay, but I'm a horrible student. I don't I don't care. Stay in school. You know, but but I suck. Uh, you're going to college. Just go to junior college, and then you can go to college. It's, it's really weird. Like, Nate was a horrible student, but he was good with computers. And I told him, listen, you'll be making 50 bucks an hour programming computers or doing a tech support or whatever the hell you're doing. Forget about college. So what? You get a bachelor's degree. What the hell are you going to do? You know what I mean? I mean, I'm not saying education's a bad thing. I'm saying if you're good at one thing and you're not good at the other thing, do the thing you're good at. Make your money. And if you want to go to the college, it, it, take some correspondence crap over the Internet or something. Sure you weren't just trying to get him back for getting your... Sh- phone shut off yeah i was trying to ruin his life <laughs> right. he had a don't full, go to school he had a full ride to stanford <laughs> but uh, <laughs> on a basketball scholarship but right. i talked him right out of that I, I i got him signed up at devry now he's making nine bucks an hour <laughs> See? plugging in computers